It's all about these little moments that start piling on top of each other. It's not like a very direct experience of an object in a garden. It's more about like these little frames. It's more like a montage of spaces that happen one right next to the other. The pavilion has two entrances. One is coming from the street, the other one is coming from the gallery. When you first come in, you come to this smaller courtyard that is just facing the pool. So you really see the reflection of the sky in that little space. And then you turn around the corner and you have the main gathering space. And then you have a second smaller courtyard and you move out of the space. So it's a compression and then an expansion and then a compression again. It was very much inspired by this idea of the Pernon by Lisitsky. This kind of way of drawing on or understanding the space in fragments, but also as a total. Uh, so you would see like sometimes planes, but sometimes um, diagonals, and sometimes there will be intimate spaces, sometimes there will be collective spaces. The material is very common, very simple concrete roof tile that's produced industrially here. It's produced locally and the idea was to use this very simple material but in a more sophisticated way. So we're creating this pattern that allows us to create a lattice instead of a wall that has different degrees of transparency depending on whether the light is hitting it on the front or in the back. So it becomes more translucent or more opaque as the day comes through. The breeze walls play a double role. One is for comfort, uh, to allow sun to come in but in a filtered way and to let the breeze come through, but also it has to do with privacy. That comes all the way back to the Arab world and it's very like common now in Mexico City. You can find it almost in every house. In Mexico, we have this constant uh, juxtaposition of layers and that has informed a lot of my practice. It's, it's a way of understanding also time and space. We remember that the Greenwich Meridian is just a few miles away from here. So this was a, a very interesting notion that I've been exploring. This idea of abstract time, of social time, of scientific time versus social time or duration. This very subtle shift allowed us to make this small gesture towards an abstraction of what time is. This alignment is highlighted by the ceiling. It's directed in parallel to the Greenwich Meridian and it allows the sun to go through the pavilion in that specific direction. So you can actually see the passing of the day Of course, a pavilion is always a temporary structure that allows to experiment some other ideas about architecture. It's about the program, it's about how people interact with it, and that's the most interesting part for me. It's a pavilion that is meant to be perceived in fragments and in moments, and none of the moments that you would have in a pavilion are going to be the same. So if you go to the pavilion one day and then you remember it the next, that way of remembering will not be the same as the experience. It's just like more of these dreamlike memories uh, of, of what a space and emotions are.